Good evening and welcome to our service of night prayer for Saturday, the eve of Palm Sunday. And so we take again a look at St John's Gospel, at Jesus' farewell words to his followers. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And so we recall before God those things which we've said, done, heard or seen, for which we wish to ask his forgiveness. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. It is a thing most wonderful, almost too wonderful to be, that God's own Son should come from heaven and die to save a child like me. Appointed for today are Psalms 128 and 130. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord! Blessed are all those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of the toil of your hands. It shall go well with you, and happy shall you be. Your wife within your house shall be like a fruitful vine, your children round your table like fresh olive branches. Thus shall the one be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord from out of Zion bless you, that you may see Jerusalem in prosperity all the days of your life. May you see your children's children, and may they, there be peace upon Israel. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord. My soul waits for the Lord. Out of the depths have I cried to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. 
If you, O Lord, were to mark what is done amiss, O Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits for him. In his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than the night watch for the morning, more than the night watch for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy. With him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. My soul waits for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Reading from St John's Gospel, chapter 16, beginning to read at verse 16. A little while, and you will no longer see me, and again a little while, and you will see me. Then some of his disciples said to one another, What does he mean by saying to us, A little while, and you will no longer see me, and again a little while, and you will see me, and because I am going to the Father? They said, What does he mean by this, a little while? We do not know what he is talking about. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, Are you discussing amongst yourselves what I meant when I said, A little while, and you will no longer see me, and again a little while, and you will see me? Very truly, I tell you, you will weep and mourn, but the world will rejoice. You will have pain, but your pain will turn into joy. When a woman is in labour, she has pain because her hour has come. But when her child is born, she no longer remembers the anguish because of the joy of having brought a human being into the world. So you have pain now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. On that day you will ask nothing of me. Very truly, I tell you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete.
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Christ bore his sins, Christ bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. And so let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for your teaching, for your word. We thank you for your promise that our sorrow will turn into joy. But Lord, we know the cost of that journey. And as we prepare to follow you, as you enter those gates, as the crowds hail you as their king, and then so soon call for your crucifixion. May we acknowledge our own fickleness. May we find your strength where our faith fails us. May we find your healing where we are broken. And so this night we offer to you the brokenness of humanity. And we pray for your peace and your healing for your people. We give you thanks that you are our Lord and Saviour. That you reign in humility. That you reign from the cross. That you reign in the glory of the resurrection. Almighty God, as we stand at the foot of your cross, help us to see and know your love for us, so that in humility, love and joy, we may place at his fight, feet all that we have and all that we are. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day, and make yourself known in the breaking of bread. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. night and I wish you God's peace and blessing this night.